Welcome back to the Tiny Texan Cooks. Today we're going to be making minestrone, or as I like to call it, minestrone. Stay tuned. I have a big announcement to make. I have surpassed 100 followers on YouTube. What does that mean? That means that I am 100 people closer to my 1,000 person goal. So if you watch my videos, if you enjoy them, please uh, consider subscribing, like those videos, comment in the comment section because that feeds the algorithm and it will allow me to continue making food for you. With that out of the way, I want to talk to you about minestrone. Minestrone, as you've probably all eaten, is a vegetarian Italian pasta dish. And I think that that will be perfect for this cooler weather that we've been having. Last week I was at the grocery store, uh, H-E-B, and I was standing in the dried bean section observing all the new beans. And I came across these beans called Mayakoba. I'd never heard of them before, but they looked interesting to me. I have the bag right here. You can see they're kind of yellow in color. So I grabbed these because I'm always wanting to try new things and I looked it up when I got home online and apparently these are indigenous to Peru and they're actually very good. I've made a pot of them here. And as you can see, they're kind of like cannellini beans when they're cooked. They're very soft skinned and they basically take on the flavor of whatever you're cooking them with. This recipe today is going to need one can or two cans of cooked beans. You can cook any kind of bean you like, assuming that the beans that you're cooking aren't like pork and beans or ranch style beans or some kind of bean that's been seasoned a lot. You want them to be kind of neutral but I do recommend these beans. They are really good and that's what I'm going to be using in today's recipe. In addition to those two cups of beans, you're going to need about a cup of dry ditalini pasta. I have three stalks of celery, two carrots, one small calabasa squash. I'll probably only use half of this, so about a quarter of an onion I have a cup of crushed tomatoes, and I'm using some celery leaves. You can use any kind of cruciferous green leafy vegetable you'd like to use. Spinach would be a good choice. I'm also using some oregano and some bay leaves. 